Hello dear kids, today we are going to learn addition. So let's get started. In class 2, you all learned about addition, right? What is addition? Addition is combining two or more things or objects together and counting the combined collection. What is 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2 is 5. And what is 2 plus 3? This is also 5. So in class 2 you learnt the order of the numbers to be added does not change the sum. And what is the answer of adding 0 to any number? The same number itself. In many ways we can do addition. Let's see some of the methods. The first method I am going to show you is breaking one number. Let's add 32 plus 25. We are going to break the second number 25. 25 is how many ones and tens? 5 ones and 2 tens. Thirty-two plus two tens means twenty plus five ones. Let's add tens first. Thirty-two plus twenty. What is thirty-two plus twenty? Thirty-two plus twenty. Two plus zero. Two. Three plus two. 5. So, 32 plus 20, 52. 52 plus 5. 52 plus 5. 2 plus 5, 7, 5. So, the answer is 57. This is how we can add by breaking one number. Now let's do addition by breaking both the numbers. Let's add 67 plus 32. We are going to break both the numbers into ones and tens. 67 is 7 ones and 6 tenths. 32 is 2 ones and 3 tenths. Let's break these numbers into 6 tenths, 60 plus 7 ones plus 3 tenths, 30 plus 2 ones. Let's add tenths first. 60 plus 30 60 plus 30, 90. Then add once, 7 plus 2, 9. Then add 90 and 9, 99. So the answer is 99. Now we can add 41 plus 34 by counting in tens. 41 will write as it is. 34 is 3 tens and 4 ones. We will write 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 4. That is 41 plus 10, 51 plus 10, plus 10, plus 4. Next, 51 plus 10, 61. 61 plus 10, plus 4. What is 61 plus 10? 
71. 71 plus 4 that is 75. Now let us learn addition of 3 digit numbers with regrouping. Let us solve this example. 313 plus 429. 313 is what is the expanded form of 330? 3 ones plus 1 tens plus 3 hundreds. 429 is 9 ones, 2 tens and 4 hundreds. Let us add ones first. 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 is 2 ones and 1 tens. So we write 2 here. 1 carry forwarded to tens place. Let us add tens now. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 in tens place. Let us add hundreds now. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 in hundreds place. So the answer is 742. Let us solve this example. 463 plus 271. 463 is 3 ones, 6 tens and 4 hundreds. 271 is 1 ones, 7 tens and 2 hundreds. Let us add ones. 3 plus 1, 4. 6 plus 7, 13. 13 is 3 ones and 1 tens. So, 3 I write here and 1 carry forwarded to hundreds place. Let us add hundreds. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. Let us add 374 plus 468. 4 plus 8 is 12. So, I write 2 in 1's place, 1 carry forwarded to 10's place. Add 10's values, 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. 1 carry forwarded to 100's place. Let us add 100 values, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. So, the sum of 374 plus 468 is 842. Let us try these examples. 736 plus 421. Let us add ones first. 6 plus 1, 7. 3 plus 2, 5. Let us add hundreds now. 7 plus 4, 11. So, I write 1 in 100 position and 1 in 1000 position. So, the answer is 1157. Let us try this too. 921 plus 375. 1 plus 5, 6. 2 plus 7, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. So, I write 2 in 100th position and 1 in 1000th position. The sum is 1296. Did you understand addition of 3 digit numbers with regrouping? Now, let us learn addition of 4 digit numbers without regrouping. Let us solve these examples. 4307 plus 2152. Let us add from 1's. 7 plus 2, 9. 0 plus 5. When we add 0 to any number, the number remains unchanged. So, 0 plus 5, 5. 3 plus 1, 4. When we add 1 to any number, the answer will be its after number. So, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 
So the sum of 4307 and 2152 is 6459. Let's solve this example too. 6 plus 0, 6. 1 plus 2, 3. 5 plus 1, 6. 3 plus 4, 7. So, 3516 plus 4120 is 7636. Hope you understand the session. Can you try these examples? We will see you in the next class.